Hello everyone, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited as today I am testing some vacuum molds. Um, I do, I have worked with these before, mostly during our workshops. Um, and I have a friend who makes bath bombs in Montreal and she recommended these molds. They are from Just Berry Fizzies. So I ordered her seashell collection and as well as a boho rainbow. And I thought I'd invite you live here on my channel uh, since I haven't posted a video in like a couple weeks. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay, I'm still alive, doing fine <laughs> here in the Magdalene Islands. So welcome to my workshop, to my studio. Um, we are open today. And so customers may walk in as I do my live, which is why I'm going to be covering my face. Also, I have a coworker. She's out of the room right now and she's just waiting for me to strap this on <laughs> to walk back in because here in Quebec, we are um, under um, mandatory um, mask coverage within the workspaces. And also working with bath bombs is dusty. So I'm just going to flip that on. And I'm going to anyways tilt the tripod down on my workstation. I have my mask on. You can come back anytime. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to show you what I have on my workstation. And we're going to start pressing some mold, some bath bombs by hand. And actually, this is a test that I'm doing for this summer. I have something super exciting coming. So as I mentioned before, in the summer, we do welcome guests and we usually host workshops. Um, due to COVID this year, we don't know if we'll be allowed to have our workshops. So we have a plan B, <laughs> which is to offer boxes where our customers can come and take buy a box and make their bath bombs at home or at the cottage or wherever they're staying during their summer vacation. So I took my original bath bomb formula. I made it a little bit more wet because I know that these types of molds usually like a mix that is a little more, a bit more wet. I'm also gonna portion some out and color it teal. So I have my, my teal colorant ready right there on the side. Um, this is FDNC Mint Green Lake by the Fizz Fairy, by the way. Hi, Tina. <laughs> and the molds that I'm using today are from Just Fairy Fizzies. And this is a test batch, so I'm not weighing anything. These won't be for sale. Well, not this batch anyways. And yeah, and then I've ordered a whole bunch of, of these molds, but smaller to put into our bath bomb uh, making kits that we'll be releasing hopefully in uh, in june so yeah <laughs> so i'm super happy to be live with you guys I'm just gonna mix this by hand i really like using lakes um because you can mix them after you've combined your bath bomb mixture you don't have to re reveal them or bloom them you could just add them straight into the mix. And if you find that you don't have enough, you can absolutely add more, like I'm doing right now, because I really want this to pop once it hits the bathtub. Ah. So. The fragrance oil that I've chosen for this test is called Firecrackers. I'm going to show it to you. It's by Island Escape Fragrances. It is a Canadian company here in the Maritimes that actually produces um, or sells fragrances. Let me go wash my hands so I don't get the white mix all teal and be right back. Mm -hmm. get my hands really dry so that I don't make anything fizz before time. And I am actually curious and see how much, how much mixture 
these molds hold. So let's start with the rainbow, the boho rainbow. <clears throat> it's just beautiful. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just gonna put some powder in the mold. And then I'm gonna take some of the teal, layer it inside. And then I'm gonna put some more white, cover that up. And I hope I'm <laughs> doing this right and that I can pop it out. Whenever I use bunt pans or vacuum molds to make bath bombs, I like to fill them and then set them on the side for a little while until it firms up. <clears throat> so let's weigh this baby. Ooh, that's 274 grams. That is a big mold. Voila. All right. Let's make sure we get all of this, the little dots. It's actually the dot art uh, shell collection. So it has all of these little dots. Look, this one is a scallop. I have two of that one. <clears throat> so again, I'm hiding some color in there. Well, it's not really hidden. You can kind of see it, but all right. And it was my first time placing a purchase from Just Fairy Fizzies. And she is extremely easy to work with. Um, I bought these first. <clears throat> and then I asked her to customize them smaller for my project of making the, the boxes. And, you know, she resized them and, and made a whole bunch of them for me, which is great. All right. Look at that. 295 grams, that is a big bath bomb. Let's do the sand dollar, or I like to, I, I see a, a sea biscuit here. Um, I grew up part of my childhood in the Bahamas, and when me and my mom would go on seashell <laughs> hunt, we'd, we'd love to collect seashells. Um, if we could find a sea biscuit, we were just, you know, nuts. We loved those, and they were so rare to find them intact and in one piece. <clears throat> Maybe I should give this one to my mom <laughs> so she can have a, a fizzy sea biscuit in her bath. <laughs> and my mom has this very pretty old cast iron bath at her house. It's the same bath that was there when I was a child. So it's a really nice bath and you can fill, fill it up with lots of water and then just soak in there <laughs> and it stays hot. I can't remember if I teared that one. 272 grams, big bath bomb. All right, let's try this one. Look at how beautiful it is. You like it? Steph, on a quelqu'un, peux-tu venir? Allô. Bonjour. Je suis en direct. <laughs> C'est pour ça que j'ai appelé Stéphanie. Bonjour. All right, so let's fill this one as well with some color. Et madame, making sure to fill the the pointy edges of the shell so that when I unmold it it doesn't like collapse pressing down Mm 
voila. And yeah, that is a huge bath bombs. It is 300 grams. <laughs> and let's try the, the last model. Here it is. Uh, all the molds aren't exactly the same um, weight, but it, I think I may have forgotten to um, tear one. <clears throat> but I think they're going to come out okay. Are you excited to see the release? <laughs> I am. Okay, I have another scallop, so before I unmold anything, let's fill them all up. Voila. Okay, let's get this out of the way and put this one on the side and I'm gonna just make sure that they're all kind of even. Give them a nice flat shape. Okay, I'm sorry, we have customers in, so we're welcoming people as I go. Okay, so let's unmold the rainbow. I'm just going to put it on this little palette knife so that I can show it to you guys once it's out of the mold. Oh, it, it wants to slide right out. Okay, I thought it was going to be harder than this. Wow, oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful it is. Okay, let's set it on the tray to dry. And I'll just, yeah, okay. I want to press them and unmold them at the same time, so. <laughs> Woo, it just popped right out. Look at the scallop. Aw, so beautiful. I'm gonna press some more before my mix dries out. <laughs> I'm really, really happy. These molds have such a nice release. Um, <laughs> it's actually kind of a gamble when you make something for the first time and you're not really sure and you go live, you know, you gotta, you gotta live dangerously sometimes as long as it's, you know, <laughs> safe <laughs> for your health. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really happy. I, I didn't expect it to be so easy to unmold with all of the little, like the little oh. dots and the details. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Pardon? Juste le, le paquet avec le bon. Oui, bonne fête des mères. Merci <rire> Il y a quelqu'un qui a pensé à vous. Merci bien. Au revoir. Ah, oh, that was sweet. We just had um, a customer walking walk in, and she was picking up a um, a Mother's Day present that someone bought for her and left for her to pick up. So I wished her a happy Mother's Day. Okay, well, I think that's the last one I'm gonna be doing with the white mix. I have a whole bunch of the teal one left, so I'm not sure that I can fill any of these big molds anymore. Okay. All right, so these are the two last ones that I made, I think. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. It slides right out. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm impressed. I've had some molds that were much harder to release and I didn't know if my bath bomb mixture was going to work with these, but so far, so good. So That's the scallop again, so I'm just gonna, wow, it <laughs> pops right out. I'm super happy because whew, I really wanted these molds to be easy to work with because I'm gonna be selling them for people to make their own bath bombs at home and they need something that is easy to work with. Um, otherwise, it kind of ruins all the fun, especially when you're a beginner and you've never made bath bombs before. Look at the sea biscuit. I love it. It's so, so pretty. Okay. Oh, and now this one. I, this one really looks, I don't know what it's called. Uh, I think it may be a Neptune shell, but it looks like a whelk. And whelks are, sh are shells that we have around here. So, isn't this beautiful? Can't wait to put some color on these. Oh, I'm gonna need to let them dry first though. Okay, and here, are uh, the last two that we've made. So the scallop. Ta -da! <laughs> well, these are really nice. Even, wow, look at, okay, I am in awe of how well that went. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, the smell, the fragrance smells amazing. The molds and the detail is really, really pretty. So that's it for today, guys. I'm just gonna tilt the camera up to say bye and I'm gonna see you soon, I hope. Ah. So thank you so much for joining me for this live. Um, I am working on some content, but I'm just like shooting and editing and running out of time these days. So, but don't worry, I have some new things coming to the channel. I have really exciting things coming up and fun collaborations. So stay tuned, stay safe, and I will see you soon. And if you have any questions about the things that I've used today in this video, don't worry, just check the description box. I will leave everything there as soon as this is uploaded to YouTube. Bye-bye, everyone. Whoop, ding.